What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mile, coming at y'all with another update. Okay, today was week um, four for my chemo, which means I have done four chemos. I got two more to go. So I'm counting down my chemo days, and I'm doing good. Right now, I'm just sleepy. I'm real sleepy. I saw the doctor today. Um, the chemo doctor, I saw the chemo doctor today, he said I was doing good, but they're not going to check me for a while, you know. They're going to check me after the six weeks, and then I think they're going to check me again in th uh, three months. So, looking forward to that. And how everybody doing today as well, because I, I get to talk to a lot of you guys. And thank you for your donations. Um, to all the people who paid... Um, who gave donations by through PayPal? Yes, I received your donations because I know some people was concerned whether or not I received by PayPal donations. Yes, if you saw Golden Creations pop up, Creation spelled with a K, Golden Creations, and my PayPal email is goldmouth48 at yahoo at yahoo.com. Goldmouth48 at yahoo.com. If you didn't want to put your card information in the GoFundMe account, PayPal, make people feel more secure so you can go ahead and do it that way if you want to make a donation to my medical um, fund. And also I'll leave the link below to the GoFundMe account once again. But anyways, y'all, thank you guys so much. Y'all been a, such a big blessing to me. Um, so encouraging, so motivating. Um, today, I had to get stuck three times because the girl couldn't find my vein. Now, that's the first time that ever happened. Like, it was a new girl, and she just couldn't find my vein. I don't know why, because you can clearly see my veins. I got good veins, but she just wasn't getting them right. She told me they was rolling and all that stuff. She, she had three chances to stick me, and she stuck me three times, and it hurt so bad. Oh, my God. I hate when I get stuck. Um, two times in this arm. And this arm really, really hurts. It really hurts in this arm. She stuck me right there. And you probably can't see it, like, on camera. But then I got end up getting stuck right here for my IV. So, um, I, this one was successful. Thank God. Because I hope I'm not blurry. Yeah. I hope I'm not blurry. Anyways, yeah, I had a, I had a good day. I did radiation this morning. I woke up at, like, 6 o'clock this morning. I went to radiation at 8 I did my radiation, and um, I ate breakfast, took my medicine, went to radiation. I, yeah, I took my medicine, and I got to take my medicine again. I take medicine for nausea. That's the only kind of medicine that I take. The only pills that they prescribe me is two nausea medications. One is Zofran, and one is, I can't think of the name of it, but either way, they're both for nausea, and I have to take a... Um, a vitamin. I take Flintstone vitamins every day as well. And sometimes the chemo can give you a stomach ache, so you take um, a modium, you know, for if you have an upset stomach or something like that. And a Rolaids if you have, you know, like anti gas, anti acid reflux or whatever. So I take, you know, I take my stuff like I'm supposed to. And I never have any problems. Today I'm really, really, really tired from the chemo and the radiation. All in one walk. Now, if if I have I have chemo and radiation on Wednesday, so um, on Wednesdays is my long day. I go from like eight o'clock all the way to like one thirty, and that'd be my whole day for at the doctor's office. I have to see the doctor. Um, and I hate every time I go to the doctor, I have to pay a copay. I'd be so upset. And I had to pay the copay today, and the doctor didn't even come in the room. I just saw his, his assistant, and that was it. And then I asked her, was I going to see the doctor? And she was like, well, if you need to see the doctor, I'm like, and that's what I paid the copay for? You know, I'm tired of giving out this money. It's just, ugh. You know, I don't know. That's why I got to go for me set up, y'all, because it's, it's, it's really getting on my nerves with all these bills and out-of-pocket expenses and co-pays is just a whole lot and they just add fuel to the fire sometimes when you already 
kind of hurting on the inside, and you get these bills slapping your face, and then every time you want to get help, you got to pay. I know you got to pay for, for your healing or whatever, but, you know, I guess for your healing, you got to pay for some. Ain't nothing free, but golly. Um, every single week, I see two doctors, and then it's just like, I see the chemo doctor today. Now, tomorrow, I will see my radiation doctor. And I actually see, I'm going to see the doctor this time. Because he always come. Um, so. And then Friday, after this week, I got two more weeks of this, y'all. Two more weeks of radiation and chemo. I, all together, I had 25 uh, cycles. 25 rounds of radiation and six rounds of chemo. So, I'm going to be getting out of here soon, but I got to come back for another round of radiation, a small round, but we'll cross that bridge when I get to it, okay, okay. So, other than that, I'm doing good. The doctor always said I got a lot of energy for somebody who's going through what I'm going through, so uh, that's a good thing, and I'm not losing weight. I initially lost weight, y'all. I know y'all probably need to see a body picture of me. Since my channel is based on, you know, y'all done seen how I look before, so y'all might need to see how I look again, because I'm smaller. I'm not too much smaller, but just put it like this. I'm bad body, y'all. <laughs> That's what I tell my husband. He say I ain't, but I think I am. I feel like I'm bad body. Like my because my stomach got bigger and, and I feel like my butt dropped. So but I'ma lift it back up you know, one of these days, one of these good old days. And um everything gonna be back right. But anyways, as for right now, I just gotta let my body do what it do, cause I really I can work out. They said I can. They gave me the okay to work out, but they you know say not do too much. So I ain't doing too much. I ain't doing too much at all but walking. So that's about it. I ain't doing no strength training, no squats, no no nothing, none of that too much because I don't want to interfere with anything that's going on with my stomach. Okay, so as of right now, he said it wouldn't interfere, but. I just say that to be on the safe side because he said I was able to do crunches or whatever I wanted to do and it would not interfere with anything. But I just said, eh, I'm going to play it safe and not do nothing because I know when I do work out, I go kind of hard. He did tell me don't go hard. So he did tell me don't do too much. And I know if I start doing sit-ups and stuff like that, I'd probably do too much. So I'm just not going to do nothing because... I get carried away a little bit sometimes, so I'm just sitting my little self down somewhere like I need to be and get my little rest and worry about other things right now that's more important. Um, but he did say I needed to work out, you know, to keep my strength up. So I just do my little walking. We walk around in the park a lot. I got a, um, a, this girl here that I started, you know, working out with. So we do our little walk around the park a lot. He said no jogging or no running, so... We just do a casual little walk around the parking lot and we be straight. So, anyways, y'all. <clears throat> oh, and they got me drinking Boost or Insure. Whichever one I want. And I'm lactose intolerant. So, hold on. Let me get the one. Get the one they told me to drink. And they gave me a little gift bag with Insure in it. Well, actually, it's not Insure. It's um called Pro Nourish Nestle looks like this and they, they because they want you to keep your weight up at one time i lost four pounds and they was kind of upset about the situation so and i got these boosts i don't know if y'all can see them in this thing or not boost and pro nourish they to keep you know if you don't feel like eating they like a meal replacement kind of like that something like that but i i have never had a problem with my appetite but maybe like twice but other than that um I got a good appetite. So I got those. Those were samples, you know, so I could figure out what I wanted to try. And I also have to rub lotion on my spots. It's called Aquaphor lotion. But my mama bought me some big, um, utterly smooth cream. You got to get the lotion that don't have, like alcohol in it because they say alcohol dries out your skin so I can't put my bath and body brush lotion on my stomach area um you know what y'all know I love y'all y'all know I love y'all let me show y'all my stomach let me show y'all what goes on in radiation I'm gonna try to see if I can move these shelves back y'all I'm gonna show y'all my belly fat now okay just because I'm gonna try to show y'all my stickers 
Okay, so we get stickles and we have to keep them on. Excuse my fat. But y'all know I don't care. Y'all don't see me before now. Y'all already know what time it is. So we get stickles that look like this. And they have to stay on. And I have some down there, but you know I don't want to show y'all on my girl 2000 parts. And I got a sticker right here. And wait, I got a sticker right there. And I got some stickers down here on my hip part too. So um, that way, hold on, let me get back on the camera. So that way, um, when they lay you on the radiation table, they get the same spot. They get you in the same position every time so they know where to put the radiation at each time. And I'm also in a mold when I lay on the bed. So it's like I'm in radiation and I'm laying back on my back, but I have a mold for my arms where um, they molded it to my arms to fit my arms specifically and nobody else can't use it because it's mine and it's the shape of my arms. And I put my arms in a mold and I put my legs down in a mold. So that way I won't move when I be still and they line me up so I can get my radiation in the same spot um, on every single treatment. That's how that goes. And my chemo is just, I get two bags of fluid. I get two bags of a saline solution, you know. Two big bags, 250 milliliters, I believe. And I get um, two nausea medications in my IV as well. I get one steroid. And then I get the chemo last with, a, um, with the bag of the saline um, solution. Water. Pretty much water. So Because they have to give you water to keep, you know, because the chemo is so strong, they have to, um, what you call it when you put water and stuff? Dilute it, I guess, going into your body, I guess, to keep it from running straight through your body as straight chemo. But, you know. But anyways, that's what I get, and I'm doing good. I got a lot of energy um, right now because of the steroids. I'm tired, but I got a lot of energy at the same time. So I'm going to crash probably tomorrow or Friday. I'm going to crash. And then my husband going to come pick me up, and I'm going to be so happy. I get to go home and be myself for the weekend because y'all know i get to go home on the weekends the weekends is the time for your body to rebuild back up rebuild itself back up and all my blood work looking good um they gave me a copy of my blood work because the chemo makes your you know can mess up your blood work and it suppresses your immune system so you can easily get sick so i have to wear face masks you know when I go out in public, when I go out of this room, I have to put on a face mask to keep people from getting me sick, to keep getting, to keep from getting germs off of other people. Not because I'm sick, but because other people could potentially be sick and get me sick. And it's not easy for somebody like me to get sick and do well, you understand? So just a, a regular little cold might not, um, might be a little bit harder on me because, um, the chemo suppresses your immune system a little bit. But y'all, guess what? I'm going to be alright. I am going to be alright. And I said that um, just to let you guys know that. You know, because I know a lot of you guys have a whole lot of faith. A lot of y'all got more faith than me. And I got a whole lot of faith, you know. And I really appreciate y'all for praying for me. For your prayers and all your well wishes. Or some of y'all, y'all some prayer warriors. You hear me? And I know a lot of people say, you know, it's not good for everybody to pray for you. Because a lot of, everybody don't pray for your, uh, some people pray for your downfall. I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about that at all. So I ain't worried about no people praying bad, wishing bad things on me in a prayer because um, uh, I ain't that in the kind of God I serve. So I don't know what, what the deal is with that. So I'm accepting any prayer that anybody can, you know, give me, you know, through the grace of God. Um, and that, that just, it is what it is with that, you know, because a lot of people always have something to say. It took me a lot because you got to learn who to listen to. You got to learn when you're in a situation like me. If you ever get in a situation like me, you got to learn who to listen to. Some people you just got to tune out. Some advice you got to tune out. Some Just some of it you got to because people tell you so much. It'll have you so overwhelmed, so depressed. It'll depress you, especially if you got a, a big fan base like me, a big fam like I do on YouTube. Not just on YouTube, even in real life. It, it, it's people... Um, always got advice everybody got advice and everybody got different advice you can't take everybody's advice because if you did what everybody said do 
you be doing too much, like way too much. So, you know, some some advice is good advice, but the thing is, you got to wean out what you think good and what you think bad it's for you, for you, for for me. You know, I got to wean out what I think good and what I think bad for me. So, um, I'm a little hyped up right now. That's why I'm talking a lot. You know, because of the steroids that I'm on. Um, they gave me a hat today and they gave me a bracelet today. Um, they really, really love me down at the center, y'all. I think I'm their favorite. I don't, you know, I ain't trying to brag, but I really do think I'm their favorite because they didn't get nobody else ahead. And I always be talking. I'm always full of life and full of energy. Um, thank you to Much Love from Kentucky, Thick Chick Vlog, Miss Risa Richardson. I love all of y'all. Y'all keep me motivated. I already know Much Love you called me this morning. I had to miss your call because I was, like, literally in the doctor's office. I know I had to text you or whatever, but... Anyways, I really appreciate everything, all the uplifting words, and you already tell me I got this, and I know I got this. I really appreciate just the uplift. Y'all don't know how important it is for y'all to keep me uplifted. It means the world to me. It means the world to me just for y'all to keep me uplifted, making donations to the GoFundMe. I'm, I'm, like, so elated. Like, I'm just so excited. Every time I get a donation, I'm like, these people really love me and i'm like not these people but my family my youtube family really does love me i don't care what nobody say i don't care what neighbor come in, come on here and say this and say that i got so many people who love me that it's ridiculous and people that i don't even know that it's ridiculous um for somebody to just donate to a cause and you don't know that person and you feel you might have been in their shoes or you might just love that person enough to just go ahead and donate you know, because you just got mad love for me. And I really feel that love. <sighs> I really feel that love in my heart from, from y'all, for real. Like, I'm saying, don't make me cry. <laughs> I really feel that love in my heart from y'all. And um, I really, really, really appreciate it with all my heart. Like, for real. It's, y'all don't even know how much it means to me to, to feel that much love. Especially at a time like this when sometimes you feel like you ain't got nobody to depend on. You ain't got... Sometimes, even though you got people to depend on in your life, you feel... You, you just... Sometimes the situation makes you sad and it makes you feel down, you know? But, you know, and then y'all come through with the positive comments and I just get back up again, you know? Sometimes people need to be uplifted, just like I said. And, it's, and I'm thankful for y'all, for real. Ugh, y'all got me choked up, y'all. Just had to get some, some, I'm trying to stay hard and be, you know, macho. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I'm going to get off of here before I talk y'all ears off. And I just want you guys to know that I'm doing fine. Um, I will keep y'all updated as much as I can through YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or however I can keep you guys uplifted. Um, y'all stay tuned for my YouTube videos. Um, because that's pretty much where I'll probably be posting the most at. And I'm also trying to post videos on here. I'm sharing my life with this rural because, you know, and, and also for memories for me as well, I can go back and look at these videos and in the future and say, you know, that God took me through something to bring me to something. You feel me? So, you know, I got, I, I'm going to have a testimony when, when I get done and hopefully that I can help some of you ladies. I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell y'all the signs, the symptoms, know how to this, the this, the that, what you need to do, what you need to worry about and how do you need to get checked and all of this kind of stuff so I can share with you guys because I do not want nobody to go through what I'm going through. If you just happen to already been through it, you can be a test, you a testimony of, for yourself and you need to testify to somebody else to let to let them know how good God has been to you. You know, for real, you got to keep sharing that testimony to somebody and let them know that everything's going to be okay, you know, in case somebody do fall in the same trap that I'm in, you know. Just everything's going to be okay, you know. Y'all, thank you so much for the donations. Thank you so much for the comments, just the prayers, the, the well wishes, everything, everything you've done. I received all your comments on the GoFundMe and some of y'all just have me crying like for real, like a little baby. The last donation I got from my PayPal was unbelievable. Miss Valerie, thank you so much. Shout out to you. I love you, man. I don't even know who you are. I swear I don't, but I, I, uh, I'm just with, um, I don't even know what to say. I'm just speechless. So I'm going to get off of here. And if you guys still want to continue to donate or share my story so somebody else can donate, um, if you can, you can share my story on your Facebook page. You can make a video for me to help me out, you know, with my GoFundMe if you want to. So people can donate because I really need the donations and um, I really appreciate the donations and 
You guys love me. It's, it feels so good to be loved by people you don't know. That's a good feeling. I mean, it's, it's, it's normal to be loved by people that you know. But when you got people that you don't even know that love you, that's some real love. Because people can form a bond with you and you, you don't know them from Adam. So you know it's real. You know? You know it's real. Ain't no fake love in my face. Ain't no phony love, you know. If y'all hate me, you just hate me. But I know y'all love me. 99.99% of y'all love the hell out of some gold mouth, right? Y'all want me to keep on going and keep pushing, right? So I'm finna end this video now. I'm gonna keep on going and keep pushing. Everything is going good. And that's all I got to say in this video, y'all. And I will holler at y'all later. Mm -hmm. Bye.